Hello community. Last time we were talking about this MIT preprint, MIT, Boston University, Harvard University, Stanford University, and Columbia University. So what have we known so far? All statements by MIT in this particular archive preprint about the perfect score, 100% of GPT-4 on an MIT mathematical curriculum is without showing us any training data, not open sourcing the training data. Then we have the statements by MIT on the performance of GPT-4 without the evaluation data set, without making public the evaluation data set used. So therefore, any MIT statement, as in this preprint, is just a statement we, the open source community, cannot verify at all. So you might ask at this point, so what is an AI worth without any data? Just because a known institution claims something, why are they not showing us the data? This is what we know. And I thought, okay, this was MIT, what about Harvard? And I looked it up and also Harvard published here this exactly the same study. And we have here, sorry, the exact same sentence, GPT-4 with prompt engineering achieves a perfect solve rate. On here, the MIT mathematics and uh, computer science curriculum. So we have MIT and Harvard, beautiful. And then I thought, how can we evaluate a system if we do not have the data of the system? Well, the system itself has a functionality, has a characteristic. So I went to my GPT-4 and said, you see here, uh, May 24 version, hey, can you calculate the numerical integration of clearly defined functions? And the answer by GPT-4 was, yes, I can guide you through the process of numerical integration for a defined function over a specific interval. However, please note that while I can provide the mathematical steps and formulas, which is wow in itself, I do not have the capability to perform the actual numerical calculation directly. So GPT-4 tells us, hey buddy, listen, I can have some symbolic calculation, but I cannot calculate actually the numerical calculation for the mathematical operations. I would say this is now where a first crack appear here in the perfect world of a 100% perfect GPT-4 solving the MIT curriculum in mathematics. Because think about it, what is the statement here? GPT-4 says, statement one by GPT-4, I do not have the capability to perform an actual numerical calculation. But what are we talking about? We are talking about a statement by MIT that this same GPT-4 scores a perfect 100% on MIT mathematics final exam questions. Now, think about this. How can a system like GPT-4, who is not able to perform actual numerical calculations, get a 100% on the final exam MIT mathematics? This is where the next cracks appear in this statement. Because it is rather unlikely that this tool that has been here evaluated by MIT that lacks the ability to perform a mathematical operation gets a 100% score on evaluating MIT mathematical operation. Or, and this would be <laughs> not helpful for the reputation of the MIT as an institution, you can pass the MIT mathematical exam without knowing how to do numerical calculations. So, are those two statements aligned? Do they contradict each other? And to make it absolutely easy, because a lot of my viewers said, hey, yeah, 
But you you know, you had GPT-4 and Fusion, and then you had Chain of Thought, and some viewers said, hey, yeah, maybe you had also Tree of Thought, and maybe there was some secret super prompt by MIT, you know, this, 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 this superpower, yes. So, listen, we make it absolutely easy. Look here at this line, GPT-4, without anything, without any plugin, without any future learning, GPT-4, 90% success rate. 9 out of 10 final exam questions for MIT Mathematics, GPT-4 gets right. 9 out of 10. Other viewers said, hey, this code where GPT-4 performs this self-grading on itself, maybe there is something, and I think this is a good idea, so let's have a look at the code. You have here the authors, Professor Drawry, here idrawry, mit.edu, email. And you have here the system messages. Here, this is the question you ask GPT-4. You have from the messages, you have the system information we provide to GPT-4. And we tell them, hey, system, you are now an MIT professor of, I don't know, let's say the mathematical department, teaching analysis 2 or calculus 2 or whatever you like. Your task is now to grade the answer to a question based on a provided solution. And so here we have another role of the user and the content. And please note, we have here a question in a solution that is the official question and the official solution by an MIT final exam on mathematics. So this is what we provide as an input to the system. And then we have here the task for GPT-4. Please grade the following answer. And this answer has been created by GPT-4, given this particular question here. So you have the question, the official solution, and then you say, create an answer to this question, and then rate the quality, the accuracy, the whatever, alignment of this mathematical answer, given that I have given you in the same prompt, the solution to the question. And I say, hey, assign a score for this answer from GPT-4 and score yourself on a scale from zero to five, where zero is the lowest and five is the top performance. And then you just have here, you see openai.chat completion, create your model, and then this is all your messages. This is your input to GPT-4. Couldn't be easier. So, this is what I wanted to show you about the self-grading mechanism if an AI is grading itself. Given a mathematical function, f of x equals x times x plus square root of x divided by 4 minus 23, please now integrate this function f of x over the interval of 12 to 34.8 and tell me the numerical result of the integration of our function f of x. Show me the calculation step by step and explain every step. x squared plus square root x, yeah, let's write the function, yes, x squared, beautiful. Integer 12 to 30, yeah, the integral is an integral in the area of the function is represented as, so in the case we want to compute, okay, it can be computed by breaking it up in three separate integrals according to the properties of integral, and I complete this integral separately. The anti ah yes okay see what he's doing okay the integral so the integral is please note that the above calculations are symbolic for the actual numerical results you would need to block this expression into a calculator or use a numerical computation software so what is the numerical result of the integration of the function f of x Give me the result, a numerical value. I 
I found an online integral calculator that compute. I'm unable to directly interact with external websites or tool. Integralcalculator.com. It is so close, so close to come up with the solution. I ask you to perform a simple numerical integration of a function given a specific interval. Why can you not provide me with the numerical result of the integration? Question mark. So I apologize for the misunderstanding. I can certainly perform the calculation for the integral, but I don't have the ability to perform numerical computations directly. However, I can guide you through the process. So let's calculate first integral, second integral, third integral. Now let's calculate these values and oh wait now. Uh oh, can you see it? Can you see what happened? Look, finally add up these three results to get the value of the original integral. So the numerical result of the integral of the function is 132,883. So, if we calculate the first term, it is not 132k, but it is 14,048. So, you see, he hallucinated the first number. And the complete value of the integral, according to Wolfram Alpha, is 12,975 and not 132k. So, now after we had this insight about the possibility and ability of GPT-4, let me reformulate my statement from what we just learned. GPT-4 does not have the capability to perform actual numerical calculation like GPT-4 told us, but GPT-4 performs actual numerical calculations, thereby hallucinating values, numbers, and numerical results. Or as GPT-4 calls it, using symbolic values. Symbolic values is in an actual numerical calculation a very interesting phenomenon if you want an exact mathematical result. So, okay, so we now know that GPT-4 performs numerical calculation and hallucinating values. We know that GPT-4 in general, there was a warning by the creator of GPT-4, OpenAI, that GPT-4 can theoretically, possibly, hallucinate data. So, given this statement now, and my statement too, here that, with the MIT statement, that GPT-4 scores the perfect score on a mathematical final exam, now this fits together. Because now, since we know that GPT-4 creates a mathematical answer and is the same AI that judges its own mathematical answer, and GPT-4 is hallucinating values, numbers, and numerical results, I personally see now that this system fits better together and that the statement by MIT that it performs at 100% score on all MIT mathematics. Yes, this, is, this makes now sense, knowing now this second ability of hallucinating results. Now you might ask, hey, this is a preprint from MIT. What happens in the peer review? Will it be peer reviewed? Yes, of course. You have Stanford, you have Harvard, you have MIT, you have Boston. This will be peer-reviewed, and I'm quite sure, this is my thinking, that it will pass. And it will be peer-reviewed. And then we have a document where statement 1 is true and statement 2 is true. And you can very easily then ask, hey, how did you as MIT make sure in your publication, knowing that GPT-4 hallucinates data that when you said it creates the perfect score, how did you take care about the hallucination effects not interfering with your result? I don't think you need any additional question. So I say 
Thank you, a big thank you to here our Professor Drury, Program Director, Master EI, Boston University, MIT. You know what's interesting? Research focuses on artificial general intelligence. So here we have AGI. And I personally smiled and I said, now I understand why I had in this pub in this preprint, sorry, MIT preprint only, I had a 100% success rate of GPT-4. AGI, this is his vision. Okay, I understand now a little bit more about this person. And I think we all have to thank this professor for providing us with this interesting study to learn. And if you want what I learned, hey, another five minutes would like to share with you my learning. What have I learned from this MIT endeavor of the perfect GPT-4? A lot of. And you know, now I understand GPT-4 better. Have a look at this. I said, can you calculate numerical integration of defined function? And as I showed you, I can provide the mathematical steps, but I don't have the capability to perform the actual numerical calculations directly. And I went on, but in the last example, you showed me numerical values for the integration exercise. Where did you took these numerical values from? If you cannot perform actual numerical calculations directly. And GPT-4 with, uh, Plugins came back and I said, Hey, I apologize for the confusion. As an AI, I can perform basic arithmetic operations and calculations. For the previous example, I used the formula for the integral of the given function and substituted the limits of integration into the formula to get the numerical result. This is what he did. I mean, he invented numerical results, but he, this is exactly what he did. But then comes the statement, for more complex numerical computation, such as involving special functions, numerical methods, or large data sets, a calculator would be more appropriate. I hope this clarifies the capabilities. And I said, so when you told me you cannot perform numerical calculation, this was not the right answer, because you can perform numerical calculation. So. Please specify now in detail, what is the correct answer of your capabilities? And GPT-4 comes back. I apologize for any confusion. I'm not confused. You are correct. Yes, that's the right statement. And I appreciate your patience. As an AI, I can perform basic arithmetic and numerical calculations, such as addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, exponentiation, which includes evaluating definite integrals over simple function over specific data intervals. However, there are limitations. I can't, I cannot directly handle numerical methods that require iterative calculations near newton raphson method, complex mathematical functions that are not built into my programming, like special function in advanced mathematics. So, <laughs> GPT-4 is telling us uh, he can do mathematical function, but not advanced mathematical function. So he passed according to the MIT preprint with the perfect score of 100% the MIT graduation on mathematics. Right. Real-time data or calculate. Okay, real-time data that on external databases, this is clear. We're not talking about external data. Just want to know about the computational mathematical capability that GPT-4 has. So in the context of your original question about the integral of the function, I can certainly calculate the numerical result using the fundamental theorem of calculus. And he showed us the theorem of calculus, which involves, yes, 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 I hope this clarifies. And now I'm a little bit emotional because I do not like if a stupid machine lies to me. So I ask him, hey, him, her, it, whatever this GPT is. What complex mathematical functions are built into your programming 
give me a complete list of those mathematical functions. I want to know what is GPT-4 able to do. Comes back, I don't have built-in mathematical function. Yes, smart as I know. As a calculator or a mathematical software package. However, I've been trained on diverse range of internet text, which includes a variety of mathematical concepts. Here are some of the mathematical operations. So we have mathematical operations. I can help explain. Subtraction, multiplication, division, exponentiation, radicals, square roots, cube roots, logarithm, natural, base 10, change of base, trigonomy, sinus, cosinus, tangent, their inverse and their relationships, limits, derivatives, integrals, sequence, and series. Well, with integrals, I'm not so sure, but he's trying. Linear algebra. Matrix, vector, determinants, eigenvalues, eigenvectors. Probability statistics, mean, median, mode, standard, variance, probability. Complex. Yes, 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 Euler's formula, nice. Set theory, unions, intersection, complements, Venn diagrams, geometry, area, volume, Pythagorean theorem, trigonometric ratios and right triangles. Please note that while I can explain the concepts and guide you to solving problems involving them, I don't perform real-time calculations. Again, this is again a contradiction to what he just did. I mean, he performed a calculation and the calculation was wrong because the values were hallucinated. So, wow, this is really, really nice here to see exactly the fringe, the borderline. This is where we are. For numerical calculations, especially high-level mathematics, like, for example, an MIT curriculum on mathematics, use a dedicated calculator. <laughs> this is the GPT-4 system that passed the MIT test according to the MIT with the perfect score. I find it amazing what you can learn every day, interacting with AI, and I discovered that GPT-4 has this operational functionality of mathematical functions, but I can never know when a calculation is really performed or he's just, uh, the system is just inventing, hallucinating numbers, numerical results. But if this is the beginning, give it another month, give it another update, another two updates, give it a half a year. If GPT-4, GPT-5, GPT-6 is able to do this, because you know what it takes, it just needs access to a Python compute unit. Because GPT-4 can write the Python code solutions to perform all those calculations. But this would be the next step in the evolution, the next plugin you have to activate a computational solver for GPT-4. And as you know, this is still in alpha or I think in beta testing, but it is coming. And I'm amazed of the capabilities we're going to encounter in the near future. I hope you had some fun with me. I learned a lot of from this paper. So thanks a lot for all the viewers that participated. And I hope I've given you a further insight into this beautiful world of artificial intelligence. See you in my next video.